Hello, and welcome back to Demon Crawl with Brian. It's actually, I think, been more than a week <laughs> since I last played. And yeah, I have read a number of useful comments. And so hopefully I will be better than I was last time, but I'm also out of practice. I think we've unlocked at the end of the last one. Yeah, increasing XP gain, because I want to try to get to level 50. Because I think that might be where daily challenges kick in. So we're going to be using that. It says new daily mission, but I haven't figured out if there's a way to get into the menu to that. There's my inventory, which has nothing. And we exist outside of time. All right, let's just jump in and see what I remember about this game. <laughs> what kind of treasures do we have today? We got money, we got lots of money. Spend all the monies, hooray. Uh, what is this? Flag a monster when you begin a stage. All right, that's interesting. Speaking of flagging, uh, let's do some of this. Alrighty, the music in this one is a little bit weird, in my opinion. Let's go ahead and do some of the obvious things. On what appears to be a very easy stage to start things off, which is just what I need in terms of getting started. And let's see, if at most one of those, then this one's going to have to be. And there we go. Finish. Great. How much XP do I get? Enough to level up. Hooray. Now I'm level 38. Seen too much, Avatar. He's got big crazy eyes. Probably because he's seen too much. <laughs> Alright, Fickle Island. So many colors and fickle. Whenever you interact with the loot, destroy all other visible loot. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, Mystic Statue. 73% more rare loot. Destroy a random omen. Okay, I don't have an omen yet, so I guess I want to wait until I have one before I activate the statue. Although, is the statue loot? <laughs> also, there's the object that I flagged, apparently. Um, Alright, let's see. I have a bunch of twos in a row. Uh, two, one, two. These guys are on corners, though. Alright, so at least two of these means at least one of them is near this two. Which means there's at most one over here. And so if there's at most one over here... Okay, so yeah, this one means at least one of them was already next to this one, which means at most one of these three, which means since at most one of these two, then this one has to be flagged, I believe. And then... I don't have a lot of other information to go on. <laughs> So what ought I do from here? We only have three life, and the monster power in this one is one to two. So this could get bad, this could get ugly quickly. We got a one and three here, we got a one and three here. We got a two out of five here, two out of three here. Let's pick one of our one out of threes and see if it helps us. Let's pick this one. <laughs> it did not, and now we're low. We're down to two out of three hearts, which means another monster could kill us. Brilliant. Okay. Um... Yuck, and I still don't see a whole lot else that I can do particularly easily here. Exactly one of these two, which means exactly one of these three. And since, okay, and since there's two of these three, then this one has to be. Once again, that doesn't give us a whole lot to go with. Okay, exactly one of these, exactly one of these means this one's okay. And now we have a two out of seven, so I'm going to take a risk. All right, we're still alive, amazingly enough. And now I've got like a one out of six, and so I'm going to take another risk. Or two. Um, yeah, yuck. All right, let's take more risk. This one just goes, all right, I died. Let's restart this one and hope I do better. 
I think I was just unlucky there, but I'm not entirely sure. Because, again, out of practice. Haven't played in a while. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Alright, those can all be marked. So yeah, first one, nice and easy. No problem at all. Easiest game ever. Alright, exactly one of these means this one has to be. And we get a lot of good stuff here. Great. Exactly one of these means this one's not. One of those two. It's gotta be that. This all opens up. Because everything is happy. There we go. And we do still accumulate experience despite having died. So I am working my way up the experience ladder. And there's an item shop there, but we only have nine money. So let's go in here. You must complete the stage twice. Double. Wow. Okay. That's unusual. Don't know that we've encountered that before. And now here's something someone pointed out to me. When there's a one-to-one, -one, um, basically you can infer that this one is not. Because if it were... Uh, then neither of these could be because the ones next to them couldn't also have something else, which means this one is not, which means both of these are. And so that's a common pattern when you have one, two, one against like a wall uh, that you can immediately draw some good inferences on that I have not been immediately drawing that inference on. Let's see what we get for loot. Money. We like money. We've talked about it many times before. Currency in video games is good stuff. All right, here's another one. One, two, two, one. Um, basically, with the twos here, um, yeah, and the one here or whatever, like, basically this one, since you know there's at most one over here, you know that it has to be diagonally here, and symmetric reasoning means it has to be diagonally here, coming from that one to the two, and as a result, you can also infer that these are going to be opened. And so those are a couple of very common patterns that I would have to kind of reason out individually when they're common enough patterns that it's much better to just recognize them uh, and chunk them in your brain as patterns that you can immediately apply. All right, so this one has to be open because of that. And now we get a whole bunch of useful information. All right, but this is a double puzzle. What is this? Wish pool. Gain five coins. Increase this value by five whenever you open 20 cells without making a mistake. Sounds good to me. Oh. If I had opened 20 more cells and then picked up the wish pool, I would have gotten more money. I think we've encountered that before, but I had forgotten exactly its mechanics, and then when I just reread it, I uh, kind of read it the wrong way. I thought it was going to be like an ongoing status effect, but it's a one-time use thing, and so you can take a certain amount now, or you can gamble that you're not going to make any mistakes and get more later. And I took the now, but that's fine. Okay, so it says stage clear, and we do get experience, but now I'm just going to have to complete it again, right? And is it immediately going to take me there? No, it's just now the island stage that no longer has the double stage modifier on it. And with only 23 coins, I'm willing to just do this stage again. Hey, and we can get some more coins. That's terrific. Um, and then we'll go into the shop with a whole lot more coins and hopefully find some good stuff to buy. That is the plan anyway. Hopefully we'll stay alive long enough put that plan into action. All right. But so far, everything in this stage seems to be going as swimmingly as the previous one. Swimmingly is like maybe especially appropriate for a stage whose name is Island and whose monster theme is little bananas. <laughs> um, I like bananas, by the way. Apples and bananas, 
There's a number of good fruits in the world. Good job, world. Way to have tasty fruits. Alright. Open up a bunch of stuff over here. And eventually we'll get to the difficult ones. But for the moment, we can work on the easy ones. Alright, so that's got to go there. We're just going to open up all that. And open up that. So we just have this corner, which most of it just opens up on its own. Hooray. Great. We did it. And work on our way towards level 39. Yeah, now that we've got the extra experience bonus, we'll see just how much we can get. With 45 coins, let's check out the shop and see what we can get. Adrenaline, gain five defense, and then lose it until you have none. All right, that I can see how that could be useful. Basically, when you think you're about to have to eat a few monsters, uh, use that and it'll give you some short-term immunity to taking very much damage. Whenever you spend coins on a stranger, his cell gains cursed. And is it telling me? I know what a stranger is. Is it going to tell me what cursed was over here too? Aura that sacrifices visible cell content whenever you take damage to deflect one damage. Interesting. So a cursed cell basically will deflect some of your damage and destroy the cell contents. Interesting. And then Aspect of the Owl. Every hundred cells, fully charge your magic items. That's cool. I think I'm just going to take the Adrenaline for now. Uh, it's pretty clear to me how that could be valuable. And I like understanding the items I'm buying. Become an expert in certain items. I see. So we're researching items. Gain an item description with the keyword you select. More likely to find it in the remainder of your run. Neat! So do I want more magic items? Do I want more things to kill? Do I want more stage modifier thingies? Do I want more strangers? Or do I want more explode? Destroys contents of the cell, rendering it empty. Um, doesn't help me with stage. Explode sounds fun. I can't remember if we've had many explodey kind of things. So let's research explosives. All right, and a research paid off. I gained a boom bow. Target cell is revealed, if not already open. If it had a monster, 300 mana is returned to this item and the monster explodes in a five by five area after 10 turns. Wow. Interesting. All right, that sounds pretty fun to play around with, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. Um, let's just start playing normally and then I have to experiment. Okay, so like all of these three obviously have monsters. Stage power is just one to two. So let's use the bow here, just because I want to see how it works. All right, so I did not take any damage. And now after 10 turns, I think that thing is going to explode. Is how we read things. So let's manage to successfully get through 10 turns. I see it counting down seven here. So before I do anything else, I'm just going to let that happen. So I'm not going to open up any other treasures or crazy things. Okay. So it exploded. Yeah. And destroyed everything that was over there. Okay, that's pretty cool. That did take a ton of mana. Um, but 300 mana is returned. Okay, so the cost is less if you successfully use it on a monster square. So that actually seems like a really valuable item. I like it. Diamond in the Rough. Present. Contains a random non-omen item. Let's check it out. It's Transmogrify. Randomizes your inventory. Um, I don't want to do that. I suppose if I got a bunch of omens, then maybe that might be an appropriate thing to do. I think I marked all of those correctly. So I think... Oh, I didn't even talk to this guy. One coin to fight for me. I don't actually need a mercenary on this simple level, I think. So I think I won't even bother. The bow is fully charged again. That'll be good for the future. To the future! And let's see. 
Uh, that one goes there. These all open up. And we're done. Great. And we get a bunch of experience. We're almost at the level 39. I think the next stage is going to do it for us. And the next stage is an altar, a special stage. Acknowledge the evil. So this, I think, is where you take an omen, but also get some other side effects. So let's check out what's available. Broken heart. You restore life effects. You restore life effects are reduced by one. Okay. Venomancy. When you target a cell with a magic item, it gains toxic. So this one gives you revive. This one gives you three souls. Earthblock stage mods cannot be created nor removed. Uh, that sounds reasonable for three souls. Let's take this one. All right. And this one. Stage contains multiple fours. All right, we've seen stages like this before. Let's see what we're up against here. What is this? Nectar, garden artifact. Okay, we found more artifacts. Hooray, mysterious. And there's the level down. Oh, the puzzle piece is a good thing. I forget exactly what it is. If you lose this item, gain a random legendary. So I imagine Transmogrify might do that. I'm not sure. I think I'm just going to move down to the next level. I think I would prefer to kind of do things quickly. Um, hmm. Ah, it's another omen. Darn it. When you enter a stage, triple its minimum power. Ooh, that's bad. Daily mission complete. Not sure what that was about. Another one. Oh, dear. Cannot interact with strangers. Okay, I might want to use Transmogrify now. Uh, you can sell items at item shops using right click. Cool. Um, let's go after a monster blowing up with the bow while we still own the bow. <laughs> Is my plan. Well, do I need to yet? The thing is, do I want to transmogrify? Is the real thing I should be asking myself. And then if I do, I need to use the bow before I do that. Um, hmm. Choices, choices. Right now, it seems like I might be able to make it through this level without too much trouble, even without the bow. So maybe I'll hold on to it and keep it charged up and hold on to my omens. Until we get farther along. Yeah, I might actually have to do some guesswork here if I'm not careful. But let's try to be careful first. That seems like a good plan. Being careful. The best plan one can have. Here we go, stairwell. Alright. I believe this is the final level. Danger grows. So the minimum power I see just went to three. So instead of one to three, it's three to three. That's fine. I accept these risks. Um, that said, I think we could recharge the bow right now, so let's go ahead, put it somewhere where we know there's a monster, and then eventually we'll blow up the portion of the board over there, which will take out some monsters and do some other good things for us. An obelisk. What is an obelisk? Consume three items before the end of the stage to find a tablet. I'm not sure I know what a tablet is. Consume three items. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what consume means. Maybe I could like feed them to a hungry plant or something. Spawn a random stranger at a target cell. Um, do I want to do that? Yes. This is about to blow up, so let's put the stranger maybe over here. All right, so I'm gonna use the handbell. Gotta put him here. Five coins to fight for me. Yeah, I'm willing to pay. Oh, <laughs> they can't understand you. I forgot already. Can't interact with strangers. All right, so the handbell did not help us in this current situation. All right, that's fine. Um, five more turns, and the bow will cause things to blow up, which is good, because we've researched explosions. All right, that is pretty awesome. I do enjoy that. Explosions are pretty fun in almost every video game, it seems like. Is there a game that contains explosions where the explosions aren't fun? If you know of one, I guess put it in the comments. I guess I should maybe refine it to be like player-controlled explosions, because there's things like 
you know, previous versions of Terraria where the clown who came during the blood moon and hard mode would kind of randomly go and explode things and people really hated that. So that's an example of like a bad explosion, but I guess kind of player controlled explosions. I'm not sure if they're ever quote unquote bad. All right. So I can't interact with this stranger. Hey, kid. All right, but everything charged up. This guy, empower monsters by three. Pay me 12 coins to change my mind. Oh gosh. So, hmm. It says still power three to three here. I'm not sure how to interpret that. So are the monsters actually doing six to six because this guy is on the battlefield? Not sure. So my choice of reactions will be simply to ignore it. <laughs> when in doubt, stick your head in the sand. Right, right. Okay, how many thingies are left? Well, actually, I don't have to answer that just yet. Okay, so one of them's there. One of them's here. And there's three monsters left, so one of them's also over here. So now I'm definitely at risk. And so I can't accurately mark a monster necessarily. So I could either use the bow again. But it's not going to have time to explode. So that would just avoid one, or I could use the Adrenaline. And I think I'm tempted to use the Adrenaline. So let's do that. Alright, so we have Adrenaline. So I currently have five defense. So now I shouldn't take damage. So this is a 50-50. We got it right, great. We know there's a 50-50 over there. And we know there's 50-50 here. All right, that one's wrong. So we took one bit of damage there, thanks to the adrenaline. And that one was wrong, and so we took another bit of damage, but we still have four out of six. Ah, oh, I thought for sure we were gonna get to level 39 with this one, but I thought wrong. I might wanna transmogrify before I buy items. I'm gonna choose not to buy items right now. So I think I do want to try to get rid of these omens, potentially. So instead, let's go to ruins. I'm not sure if this is a good strategy or not. And the danger, 6 to 6. Okay, so it seems like the min power can't go past the max power, is what I'm guessing. Here's a heart, which is super terrific. We like hearts. And we also like places where we can play well. Uh, remind me, is the bow already fully charged? It is. So, let's try to find an appropriate place to use it in the not too distant future. Um, right here would be not bad, sure. Kablam! All right, so that guy's gonna explode in a little while. In the meantime, I'll go work on a different stage of the board. So one of these two, which means all of these three are okay. Here's a heart. So I am back up to my maximum six out of six life. Thanks to the souls I gained from the omen we chose to took. Choose to took. <laughs> That's right. These are the words that came out of my mouth. One of those means this is going to be safe. One of these means this is safe. One of these means this is safe. Also that. All right, that guy exploded and gave us some more free space over here. I should have paid attention to the monster count like right before he exploded and then when he exploded, just to watch the monster count go down. Because it'd be fun. But I did not. All right, so this is okay here. Adrenaline takes its toll on your body. Okay, so my adrenaline is wearing off, I suppose. One of these means both of these are okay. And 
Looks like we're getting ourselves into a little bit of trouble over here. So let's come back there in a moment after I've reasoned out a little bit more of the puzzle. So one of those, one of those, a couple of those. Yeah, all right, the boom bow is fully charged. I may want to use it again shortly. All right, here's a one and here's what would be a three, but there's one up here, so it's kind of like a two, but at least one of them is close to this. So this one is open, which means it's one of these, which means this one is open, which means these have to be that, which enables me to reason through all of these. All right, and so I can also reason out these guys. All right, so that got that whole section. That looks like a 50-50 and a 50-50 and some other unknowns, but maybe we can use the total staged monster count. There's seven remaining monsters to try to determine what's going on here. We've got some 50-50s over here as well. Not sure that I could use the boom bow here. We still have a bit of adrenaline going. Are there any better odds that I could get? Are there any other things I want to activate? We'll be able to interact with the stranger. Although it does say a random stranger. I'm curious. Hey, kid. I am Power Monsters. It still says 6 to 6. I'm not sure exactly what happens there. I was wondering if it was going to be a stranger that I didn't have to interact with that could still have a side effect. Alright, so 7 monsters. One of them's here. Two of them are here. One of them's here. That's four of them. Two of them are here, five, six. One of them's here, seven. So I think all of these spaces have to be open. And this two actually gives me a ton of information. So that was good global reasoning. We got through a corner of the puzzle just like that. Now there's four monsters. One's here, two are here, and one's here, which means this whole corner has to open up. And now I think that's going to give us enough information to solve the entire rest of the puzzle without having to take on any risks. So hooray for reasoning. We did finally get level 39. And I could probably do one more level. Um, I've got 80 coins. Let's go to the shop. Remind me. Randomizes your inventory. I really want to use this one more time before I do the transmogrify. All right, so let's go to the shop. Fortify whenever you open a chest. Uh, that sounds good. Store life when you spend five coins. That sounds good too. And is this a passive? It's got a yellow back. Oh, it's a legendary, isn't it? And Amber of Healing, target cell gains or loses Sanctified. Restore your life fence if it's occupied. If it has a monster, kill it. Uh, interesting. This, this seems like they're all going to work together. All right, so let's buy this. And yeah, I could buy all of them. So we're going to buy all of them. And we'll try going through one more. All right. Lose the first item in your inventory whenever you make a mistake. Oh, boy. Devouring. And it's going to be the bow. <laughs> All right. So don't make a mistake and use the bow soon. All right. I could use the bow right over here. So let's go ahead and do it. Slam. All right, and we'll go ahead and let that explode and see if we can manage to use the bow again before I end up making a mistake and blowing up my inventory. Uh, oh, treasure chest. Show me, show me, show me. Pentagram. Fill target 3x3 visible area with monsters. Interesting. We'll move other monsters into that area. This guy's going to blow up a 5x5. Five so let's try this. There are currently 50 monsters. Pentagram. I'm going to put it here. It still says 50. 
And so now I expect him to blow up at least nine when he blows up. If I'm understanding any of that correctly. Adrenaline, we got six more on the... We say, what's the system of jigger? Uh, these can all open up. And so can these. This guy wants to eat things. Feed me your items, I might do that. Um, but before we do that, let's get this explosion to go off and check out my... See if the world meets my expectations. Can I do anything safely right now? Yes, I can open this one. Great. And the monster count went down to 45. So it did not go down as much as I thought it would. So I'm not sure exactly how the pentagram actually behaved. Alright, so that's sad that I don't think I understood that to get the information I wanted. So maybe pentagram just places monsters there, but if so, what's the purpose? I'm not sure. I guess by having extra monsters and destroying them, you could have other bonuses that... When you destroy a monster, something good happens? Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, the bow still needs bits to charge. So in the meantime, let's just play some Minesweeper here. Alright, so exactly one of these, but it has to be two of these, so this one has to go. And then... Most of those... Our adrenaline is wearing off. The monster power is currently 6 to 6, so we would take 3 bits of damage right now. Do I have anything else good that I could use? Oh, I never put on this armor, so let's wear it. And target cell gains or loses sanctified, yeah. So let's sanctify, since this is likely to have a monster. Let's sanctify this one. Alright, so eventually... We'll see what happens to a monster in that one, so it's right above that. Is there anything else that I can use right now? The bell for a random stranger, but I can't interact with the strangers, so that's not super great. Alright, exactly one of these means that this one is not. Exactly one of these, and exactly one of these, and exactly one of these. Two of these. One of these. Oh boy. One of these, one of these, one of these, one of these. Most of these. Alright, what's the appropriate strategy here? We have a bunch of defense, so I'm not going to take that much damage. So let's go for 1 and 5. Alright, that's good. Give me a coin and I'll fight for you. Sadly, I can't interact. They can't understand you. Alright. Alright, adrenaline is continuing to wear off. So we might have to use it again. In the near future. Uh, it was one of these that I sanctified. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to use the Adrenaline again. Oh, the Adrenaline was a one-time use, wasn't it? Oops, I was thinking I still had it in my inventory. That's because I'm a silly. Alright, exactly one of these, two of these means this is open. Okay, which means we can do that, and so I think I sanctified this cell. And so it didn't actually help me out. Exactly one of these means this is open. Uh, let's see. We got some 50 50s over there. Well, we made a bunch of progress. But I think it all just ended again. So I've got one of these three. I've got one of these three. I've got one of those three. Yeah, I see a lot of one in three chances over here. 
And the bow is still not fully recharged. Let's spawn us one of these, but I don't think that's gonna help me. And transmogrify randomizes your inventory. I really want to hold off on that. All right, so let's take a one and three somewhere that I think it might help me. One of these. Darn. <laughs> All right, and so that broke the hat and it broke the bow. Now that I don't have the bow, randomizing the inventory seems better. So let's try it. Got a whole new set of items. Okay. So, what do we get? Parasol. Whenever you discover five or greater, solve random cell. That sounds great. Explode the visible cell with the highest value and all surrounding cells. Neat. Bottom half of each stage is cursed. Right, we talked about curse and deflecting damage or whatever. Sundial. Take the sum. After that many turns, reveal that many random cells. Very interesting. I should activate that almost immediately. Bones for each life you're missing. I want to use that at some point. Chisel, upgrade target loot. Interesting. Treasure chests contain two rewards. That's a legendary. I uh, won't discover any more strangers. All right, that's fine. And an armor that we're going to go ahead and wear. That's giving us 10 defense. So we're actually in pretty good shape for the moment. Um, this guy, feed me your items. I can't remember if you get a chance. I think he eats them at random. That's what I remember from before. And I kind of want to keep a number of these items. So remind me again, the bomb, it's a one-time use. Explode the physical cell with the highest value in all surrounding cells. So right now there's a five. So like if I found a six, it would explode this one, I think. And that's a harpy, okay. Let's play some Minesweeper for a moment. I don't want to eat that yet because I might want to use the bone thingy, which gives me more value when I'm down on health. So let's hold off on that for the moment. Although... Hmm. Do I want to go ahead and consume that right now? Because I could get three bones. Yeah. And it's a rechargeable thing. So I want this. I gain my three bones. Then I'm going to eat the heart. And remind me, these are randomly... Yeah, bury in a cell, give it sanctified, restore lives equal to the cell value. Okay. We've used the bones before. And... They might heal me up. I'm not desperate for that right at the moment. And I'm trying to see if there's anything clever I can do right now. I'm not seeing it, but I also feel like I might be missing something somewhere. But right now with 10 head armor, I'm willing to take a bit of risk. All right, so we got a 50-50 in each of these. I'm gonna probably have 50-50 in this corner kind of regardless. So I just decided to do that now. So we took a little bit of damage. But now maybe I can solve the rest of the puzzle, we'll see. And the adrenaline causes our bonus defense to go down. One of those, two of those. Uh, it has to be these two, right? Great. Open up all this. Can't be that. Thank you for the coin. Most effects can stack. All right. Stackable effects. Noodle. Okay. And so this one has to be empty. Great. Because there were zero monsters left already. That's how I knew. Okay. That is a good place to go ahead and end this episode. Uh, I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day. And when we return next time, I will continue on this level where I think we're in decent shape. We'll see how it goes. Hope you guys are having a great day. Bye-bye.